Corey, why are so many Americans okay with their country becoming a nanny state that doesn't much care about children? With us now, Republican strategist Kate Obenshane, and from Washington, Democrat and Fox News analyst Kirsten Powers. So am I over the top when I say we become a barbaric nation, Powers? Well, I think when you're just, the stuff you were just discussing with Bob Beckel, the the way this baby was disregarded and the late-term abortion thing, no, I mean, that is barbaric in my mind. I think we are supposed to be a country that protects uh, the most vulnerable among us, and what's more vulnerable than a baby? So if that's true, and, and Beckel got real upset when, when I said this, and I always know when I'm getting Beckel when he gets upset, <laughs> the people pushing the late-term abortions and the people pushing the oh yeah well you can't really punish a mother for doing crack cocaine 48 hours before you can't really hold her accountable that's on the left that's on the left that's where that's coming from not on the right so how then should we view the liberal movement in the form of an andrew cuomo in the form of the five new york jersey supreme court justices most of them appointed by liberal governors how should we view these people well i you know i worked for andrew cuomo and i have a lot of respect for him but i'm very disappointed in this and i that this this it's like people are like the, the situation with with the baby who you know ended up with cocaine in its system you have judges backing into a situation they basically want to make sure that they don't acknowledge this as a human being but of course if someone the day that baby was born but took why it, doesn't a judge want to acknowledge the baby that's going to be born in two days as a human being that's be, insane everybody right. knows it's a human well, being because then, it's a viable that, baby. Well, then that would mean that you can't abort it bill you know so but most and, states don't allow abortion in that uh, late state, well, unless the life I mean, of the mother what, is on the line. What Andrew Cuomo is trying to do right now is make but it Andrew so that Cuomo you could abort But Andrew Cuomo has got to be a barbarian, and, has he and, not? What's well, the matter with Andrew Cuomo? This is this is a mainstream view on the left, and you know that that, that they buy into this idea that there's the, the health of the mother, which no one can ever really define. It's uh, well, we did define know, it with with uh, the guy who was assassinated in in Kansas, Tiller. We did define it there very very clearly. No, it was anything. Right. And, yes, and, the, and the other doctor who was rubber stamping the late term abortions for Tiller lost her license in Kansas because yeah. it was anything. Now, I think, yeah. let me get the cake for a minute. Okay. okay, so you have these situations, and these are facts. Mm -hmm. the, what happened in Jersey, what's happening in New York are facts. 59% right. of New Yorkers mm -hmm. think Cuomo's doing a good job. What's wrong with them? Right, I know. And when you see Cuomo up there actually chanting, it's your body, it's your body, complete reckless disregard for the fact that it's another human being. But we really are turning into this culture where government provides for us. It's what we can get from government, how we can make our life better, free phones, free um, gas and oil. Again and again, it's all about me. And this baby gets in the way. According to the left, frank frankly, that's what the feminist movement was built on, that a child is an impediment, gets in in the way of our right to have our free and uh, rich, fulfilling life. And this is just a continuation of that. A baby gets on our way. Um, so government gets bigger and bigger. We become more and more dependent upon that government. Instead of taking responsibility for our own lives, for the people around us, for our unborn children. I mean, it's all sort of tied together, but the bigger government so gets think, the smaller the human being. you think America is becoming a barbaric nation? I do. I think that we are headed rapidly in this, a reckless disregard for our fellow man, but particularly for, as Kirsten said, the most innocent among us. When we when we defend somebody like Dorner, when we have people feeling sympathy for Yeah, but that's for fringe. This, I yeah, mean, that, but, no, but there's still, a difference between nothing they were kooks, innocent though. Babies. The people defending Dorner were kooks. The 60% who think Cuomo's doing a good job, those mainstream, are the people going to work right. every day. Those are the mainstream people. It's and cool, this is why I'm saying this is our fault. Go ahead, okay, Kirsten. No, well, here's the thing. Cuomo, Cuomo's doing a good job on a lot of other things. I don't think that necessarily reflects people's opinions on this, though they probably will end up being fine with it because I actually blame the media on this. If you read the New York Times story about Cuomo doing this, nowhere in the story does it describe, A, what a late-term abortion is, how it's done, or yeah, but they're their reproductive what rights like the zealots at that paper. They they do the same thing. Their mindset is the no, same way. I, the well, baby, the baby, forty-eight hours to be birthed, isn't look, a human being. Even our president Kill refused him. to stand up for unborn babe for babies who were born alive. Who were, they tried to no, abort he's never, them. He's he, never done. He refused to stand right. up for those children. That's All our right. president.
Ladies, thanks. Very interesting as always.